Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and I would like to say a big congrats to Angelia Bliss Art for her creation. I would like to say a big thank you to our dearest friend Donna for the great effort in organising this 3 days crossover Halloween collaboration event. Before I forget, I would like to introduce the upcoming uh, creator from Creations by Christy. Thank you for your greatest support to all these amazing creators and artists. Today is the second day and I know that you're not here for my drawing. You're here to listen to my horror story, right? I'm here to share a little bit of this paranormal experience um, overseas and I hope that you enjoy the story. And it goes like this. When I was in my mid-twenties, I worked in this big organisation for a couple of years. That time, I was having a very good working relationship with my uh, manager. So one day, this manager came up to me with an envelope in his hand. I was a little bit startled when I received this envelope in my hand. I was thinking, what the hell was inside? He told me that inside were two complimentary tickets to hotel stay and he won it during a lucky draw. The reason that he wanted to give it away because his wife is going to deal soon with their second baby and he don't think that he can fuck out any time before the expiry date of the hotel stay. And this hotel was the famous spot in Genting Highland, Malaysia that is the first world hotel. And it is a three-star family budget hotel. For this trip, I was planning to bring my mom along to enjoy the cool weather there and to explore the casino. However, something in my mind also telling me that maybe it was too boring for two people to go Genting. And I asked my mom's opinion if we should invite our two aunties, that was my, my mother's sister, to come along with us. And I think my mom was the one to say yes. And after that, I shared my plan with them and yes, they were looking forward to it. And I was really excited as well and proceed to book the air tickets to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And I have also reserved the additional room for my two aunties and making sure that the dates that we chose were off peak season. And finally, the day comes. The four of us were so excited looking forward for this short getaway. The flight from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur was around one hour. Once we touched down the airport, we went for a quick lunch and then we are relaxing, shopping around. At the same time, I also booked a Genting transfer service. Um, those are private car limo and sending us from the airport to the Genting Highland. So about one hour later with those a bumpy drive, we finally reached our destination. It was ready 4 p.m. plus when we reached there. And I quickly approached the counter with the letter and show it to the front desk agent. And the agent was happily serving us, busy punching all our details into the computers and uh, trying to retrieve all records. And he gave me a big grin, telling me that all the details were good. And were there any further assistance required? At the split moment, I was thinking that isn't it a good idea to get a connecting room? And the request was made to the front desk agent. Without hesitation, the agent input my request into the system to check on availability for the room. A few moments later, he came back with four room cards, wishing us, we hope you enjoy your stay in the First World Hotel. And four of us happily pulling our luggages walking towards the lift lobby that took us to level 6. Once we reached outside the connecting room, this was how we wanted to split the group as. My mom and my youngest aunt will be in one room and myself and my eldest aunt will be the next door. So we quickly check in and settled ourselves down. This is the exact layout of the room or in fact the one that I'm staying. This is considered the deluxe room with two single beds and there's the connecting door right beside one of the beds. So I have chosen the one that I'm sleeping next to the door. We were so hungry by then and decided to take a quick dinner. 
and after that to explore further area around the Genting uh, shopping area. It was around 10 plus that we decided to went back to our room. Uh, my two aunties are really exhausted and they really wanted to rest early for the first night. That left myself and my mom thinking that the night was still young and we decided to explore the casino. Maybe due to the off-peak season, there wasn't a lot of cloud in the casino. All we did was to walk around, observe other people on the table and to play a few rounds at the slot machines. Time flies and it was around 1am that we decided to leave the place. By the time I was about to settle down, it was 2.30. And this time I also realized that my uh, eldest aunt was ready fast asleep uh, on the bed that was nearer to the washroom. And the last thing that I'm going to do was to switch off the main light, the bedside lamp, and leaving just a dim light at the washroom, the toilet, with a door half open. It was a cold night, and I quickly tucked into my bed pulling the duvet head up to my chin. After a while, I was in the state of threshold consciousness. I was sleeping sideways with my back facing the window. At that point, I started to hear something. It's the sound of the footsteps, a pair of footsteps, uh, light but clear. It started from the connecting door to the end of my bed, then towards the direction of the washroom. I started to have wild guess in my head, thinking that, was it my mom or my aunt coming through the door to my room? And what are they doing? I started to feel something wasn't right anymore. I pulled up the dove, hiding my head underneath with my eyes closed tightly. The footsteps will become softer and further away. And the next moment, I heard this. And now, I cannot take it any longer. And I really freak out when I hear the flushing of the toilet. I wanted to affirm myself that it was not my imagination. And that was to check on my aunt who was sleeping right beside me. Was she the one who went to the toilet? I finally plucked up my courage to squint my eyes just to take a peek on her. And there she was. The position would still remain the same as what I saw her before. I was also quite sure that the footsteps wasn't from her because the sequence wasn't right. And definitely not from my mom as well because it makes no sense that She's coming to my room to use my washroom. And I was really pretty sure that there was a third person in my room. The room became so silent that I can hear my heart pounding. I was so terrified that I remained in my sideways position for almost an hour. The tug of war was going on in my mind. What if it was still around and started to attack me when I sit up? Or maybe it was just a harmless spirit? I had enough, I just want to have a breath of fresh air. Without thinking further, I just pulled down the duvet and sit up. It seems everything was back to normal. I opened the connecting door and went through the other room to check on my mom and my aunt. They were both still sleeping soundly. So on the next day, morning breakfast, I casually asking my mom and aunt, Hey, did any of you come to my room last night? And they look strangely at me looking say that, Why should they? And I then told them about the whole story, uh, the experience that I got. And that's it. And with this, I hope you guys enjoy this Halloween season.
Are you scared?